Would you rather date a girl that has, let's say, 75 bodies or a child? But how much bodies does the girl of the child have? Uh, let's say, let's say low, five. Three, Ooh. three, two, <laughs> two. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Sheesh. Sheesh. Nah, I can't. Nah, I, 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 I'd rather deal with what comes with. I would rather deal with what comes with being a stepfather than a wife and a hoe. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, you know I mean, five bodies. She, she got them. Got knocked up. Farted the baby out. Okay, you know what I'm saying. If it works out, it works out. You know what I'm saying. But just my conscience would not allow me to entertain anything with a woman that I know has seventy goddamn seventy five dicks up in her ass. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Hell no. But this one says there are no benefits to being a stepdad. Um, there there aren't, but it's it's more beneficial for my well being, my conscience, to know that at least my girl ain't no hoe. She just got pregnant. You know what I mean? That shit happens. But bitches out here just throwing a pussy to every fucking body. That shit happens too, but I'm not wifing it. Fuck that. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Probably the girl with the child, but it's still awkward at the same time. Yeah. Okay, wait. Do I know any of these 75 bodies? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's say I mean, 75. You got to know one. Yeah, you got to know one. Do with a hoe. 75 bodies, man. Mm. 75 bodies mm. over a child. Mm. Yeah, every time. The woman who's got 75 bodies is less valuable. It's like, I don't want her because now everybody wants her. Or yeah. everybody's had her. So yeah, it's like, but, mm -hmm. you can put her to the side. Yeah, but re reality, someone that's got a child is actually less valuable because they're already given the highest honor they can give to a man by pushing out someone else's child. Exactly. So you, you might see it different because you've got a child. But exactly. to a man like me, like there's no, I, I get no benefit from coming in and bringing up another man's child. Another man's... There's there's no benefit for me at all. I can't pass on my seeds like that. It's not my. So have you ever dated? A but I I I understand everything he fucking saying. But that but that wasn't the question. Like of course you don't get no benefit from a girl having a kid. But what benefit do you do you get from a bitch that's being a hoe? What benefit do you get from that? You know what I'm saying? So. I get, I, I get what he's saying. Like, I don't, there, there is no benefit to dating a single mother. There isn't. But the, it would be a benefit if you had to pick from dating a single mother or a hoe. I'm picking a hoe. I mean, I, I, no, no, I'm picking a single mom. You know what I mean? It's not my. So it, have you ever dated a girl that's got a child before? It doesn't sound like you have. No, but, I, no, I've, I've, I've slept, with, I've slept with women with children. You don't know, that's not the question I asked. Have you ever dated a girl that's got a child? No, but I wouldn't. Why? Because men don't men don't finish other men's games. <sighs> and this is the truth of the matter. Like end of the day, you're gonna see something differently because you've got a child. But myself, I've got to a good age and I've got no children. My friend over there as well got to a good age with no children. There's some responsibility you need to have. So I think ever when we grew up, we were told that you know if you went out there, you had a child out of wedlock, it would be a lot harder for you. Um, so we knew that. But there seems to be something now they're trying to push being a stepdad is some type of good thing that men men should do and it's an honor it's not an honor it's a big disrespect for us because we get a continuous reminder that we were not the first choice that, as far as i'm concerned both of you women are virgins the only way i know you're not a virgin is when you come with a child and that's how the world looks at it so there's no benefits for us men i, I agree with everything you fucking said I agree with everything he fucking said. And there's more shit you can add on to that of all the reasons why it's not a good idea to date a single mother. It's stupid. Why? Like, I'm not going to say it's stupid. Like, everybody has their fucking reasons, man. But if you're going out here looking for fucking single mothers, bro, like, it's, it's pointless. I mean, I understand developing a relationship with somebody. 
under certain circumstances and she happens to be a single mother and you feel like she's special enough for you to deal with what comes with that. You know what I mean? Like if you looking at it on look at it on an individual basis. But in the big picture, man, when there's so many women out here who don't have children, there's no benefit to dating a woman who has a child when there's other women out here who don't have children because a child is I mean, you know what comes with having a fucking child. And the man ain't trying to deal with that shit, being a stepdaddy, finishing other man's games, right? But at the end of the day, the only reason why this is even an issue, even a conversation, because we're trying to look out for the feelings of women who have children to make them still feel like they're worthy of love and they still have a chance at finding someone for them, man. But the reality of it is, is that it's going to be far more difficult for you to find the man that you want to deal with you with that fucking child you got. It just it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, oftentimes women have to come off the, I don't know. I don't know oftentimes. It would make more sense for women in that situation to lower her fucking standards at that point because you're not going to be able to get the fucking first pick no more because the first pick is definitely not going to deal with you and your fucking child. What really annoys me, I'll tell you what annoys me is meeting women outside the nightclub with newly born kids on like one year old and they're looking for a new man. I just do not understand it. Mm -hmm. You, you, you pushed out a whole man's kid that you have no idea that you, that you don't want to be with. Now you're outside looking for a new man and you really think like you're going to get a good quality man. No, you're just going to get dates and get your back blown out. So I'm saying to you, that's all you're going to get because society has lied to you and made you think that you can go and get high and typically you don't get high than your baby dad. So whatever your baby dad is, when women are cussing their baby dad, we look at you and say, oh, but you bred from that man. Like, and now you're trying to come to me and you want me to come and pick up the mess. So for example, let me say something to you. If I meet you and you've got one child. But I wouldn't say you coming to him to pick up the mess. You know what I'm saying? I mean, essentially it is what it is, but like the way he delivered that shit, it's going to put a single mama off. Like she had a situation, didn't work out. Now she's single looking for love. Now she has a fucking child. It ain't, she's looking for somebody to clean, clean up the mess. She's out here looking for somebody to be with who's going to be accepting of her fucking child. But that's going to be fucking difficult. It's going to take a fuck. It's going to take. I don't know. It's going to it's going to take a, a, a man of a certain level to entertain that, to place himself in that fucking situation, to essentially clean up after another man who ain't there continuing with the fuck y'all started. You know I'm everything everything he said is all valid, but I know the delivery in that shit's gonna put most women off because you know what I'm saying it is it's, it's about what you're saying, how you say it too. When it's something so touchy as you know, single uh, a, a single mom, you know what I mean? They gonna they gonna they gonna they don't come with some heat, right? But to get them to listen, you gotta deliver a little better. Hopefully they fucking listen. I doubt it though. I doubt it. If if I wanna um, get married to you, I wanna move in with you, I wanna get a place for us. Um, if if we started a one bedroom might have been enough because have started even a two bedroom cool but I have to think about your child so when I want to have my own child we need to actually have a three bedroom it's already costing me so if I want to send my children to school you know I want to send my, ch- my child to private school can I send my child to private school and send your kid to the local comprehensive would you like that if if I want to buy my child for, his, for, his, for example Jordans but your child wants trainers I'm like no I'm going to buy them high tech is that okay with you if we go out if we go this out this is all example, valid as fuck too all valid as things he's saying too but if a man was placed in that position he would be looked at as an asshole because he's not treating her child that she had with somebody else as his and that's the fucking point he's making and what man would volunteer to place himself in that situation you remember that video i did with, with the with the uh with homeboy pulling up to give his child mcdonald's to a baby mama and she got pissed and threw the fucking food away because he didn't bring food for all her kids Turn up, I'm turning up my son That's what we're talking about. Like, what? Why would you even? <laughs> why? Why would a man do that shit to himself? What? To to the fun fair, to Thorpe Park, Alton Towers. Um, my my child wants to get ice cream. Wants to get some, you know, wants to get some teddies, and I buy them. And then your child says to me, "Can I have some?" I said, "No. Go and call your dad and pay for him. Are you going to be okay with that?" The fact remains is these charges are going to be a cost for us. Women don't look at it like that, but men, we see it they like that. I so bet. there's no benefit. They, they, I keep talking. I keep stopping my bed. They, they, they ain't hear a word he said. 
They ain't hear. I guarantee you, they not hear a fucking word he said. All they hearing is how he's saying. They getting they getting their feelings hurt. I bet you. Hey, there's no woman out here is gonna receive that the way it needs to be received to to understand what he's saying. Right? They are gonna like you a fucking asshole for saying that shit. I guarantee it. Of, of of me raising your child other than the ones that you will see fit. Can I discipline your child the way I want to? Mm-mm. Can I hit your child if I want to? You might not see hitting your child, but I may want to do that. Can I do that? In the future, Bars. if you have a female daughter, in the future, she gets old enough and she makes an accusation against me. Are you going to treat me like a father or are you going to treat me as some... These are all things Bruh. that men mitigate and think to. And because you don't think as far as head, you don't realise why it's so dangerous and it's, and it's, and it's not worth us being stepdads. Mm. Bars. Boom. Mic drop. What, what are you... Mic drop, dog. Mic drop. <laughs> For real. What do you guys think of that? It's the truth. I'm sorry, you too. What you, do I you, you seem shocked, I don't know. Go. Or does that make sense to you? I don't know how to feel simply because I have a stepdad, which is her dad. Yeah, my dad raised her from the age so of... So if I didn't get a father figure in life, I might have not understood the way that I think to this day. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean me being in relationship, but like maybe just simple things in life or like how I can look at life or like my beliefs in life or like how to be open-minded, who I am as a black woman. But, if I but didn't... What does that have to do with what he's saying, though, man? Like, answer the question. You deflecting. Get those certain things. Could I just hope that my mum was going to give me all of that? And also, my, our dad treats us the same. Yeah. Like, he doesn't differentiate. If, if I get, she gets. If she gets, I get. Well, I think that's also representative of your mother. So your mum's recognised this man's going to be a stepdad and she's going to treat him like probably like... We have different Different mums. mums. Okay. Wait, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, complicated. So, our younger siblings have... So, I have <clears throat> the same dad as Damn, our younger so siblings. So, she didn't answer the question. She didn't... Come on, man. Come on, man. Mm. And she has the same mum as our younger Just siblings. Just a different dad. I'm the only one... With a different dad, yeah. and I'm the only one with a different mum. So, they both brought a kid into the relationship. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I understand, I understand. Um, but yeah, but I'll still say the same thing. I think... Before men were see, respected for being stepdads, like mm. they were respected, they were seen as they were picking up another man. There was literally women would be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting married. This guy's come." But now it's like, yo, I, they want they think being a single mother is like empowering and it's something to be proud of. I'm like, girl, like you can't even keep the man that you bred from. Like we don't respect that over here. And when we say it loud, it sounds like it sounds mad because. Men don't say this because they're not going to stay around long enough. They're just going to hit it and keep it moving. Well, I think there's also a correlation between that and the um, promiscuous behaviour of women as well. Because, you know, we were talking about hoes before. When you sleep around indiscriminately and you're not really trying to filter out who you've got a connection with, who you see something long term with, that's when you're more likely to end up being a single mum because you're having sex with a guy that probably you've got no future with. And then you just end up with this kid. So I think there's a lot of that going on as well. How these women end up single moms? Well, and and the problem is, it's a lot bigger liability nowadays to become um, a stepfather because one, like if she leaves, you have no rights to that child. So you could raise a kid for ten years, and you you could never see that child again. And then on top of that, like if if you get married to her and you get divorced, like she can take half. And put and put and put you on child support if you have more kids. I mean, and women and women leave seventy to eighty percent of the time. Ninety percent of their college They're educated. going to deflect again. Oh, no. Yeah, it, we're the ones. Leave. A lot it's of times, like, women are. It's like, like how could you? How could you refute that though? Like, how can a woman up here? How can any woman out here say, you know, it's a good idea to date a single mom or or a woman to come out here and say? There's nothing wrong with dating a single mom. You know, right? there's you're. It's just like dating anybody else. Come on, man. There's there's there is a fucking. How long is a fucking list of all the things that a man is potentially have to deal with? That is going to have to deal with, or potentially may have to deal with, going to place him in a fucked up situation. Come on, man. Like, you got to be a realist. And if you're a stepmom out here, and you want a man to entertain you take you serious you have to be aware of the risk he's taking and aware of all the bullshit he gonna have to deal with dealing with you as opposed to dealing with somebody else that don't that don't have a kid you got to know that and if you fighting that then you know you're gonna be single forever you know what i mean so for these these moms these women out here who are single mothers and you find somebody that's gonna take you in and actually you know 
you know, treat you how you how you should be treated. You should you need to be worshiping the motherfucking ground that man walking on to deal with you to deal with you and your shit, real shit, man. And that's not to like throw no shade or be disrespectful, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Unless he a man out here who can't fucking do better than you, but there was a man out here who is who has limited himself to you and chose you over everybody else. You and your kid, you better be worshiping the motherfucking ground that man walking on. Real shit.